Detective Whiskers was a police officer in the busy town of Furville. He was a proud cat who loved nothing more than keeping his town safe. He was known as one of the most trusted officers in the precinct, and everyone in Furville respected him. One day, while walking his usual beat, Detective Whiskers received a call on his walkie-talkie. Detective Whiskers, come in. We have a code red. A pet store in downtown Furville has reported a missing catnip toy. Detective Whiskers gasped. A missing catnip toy was a serious crime in the town of Furville. Catnip toys were a favorite among cats, and a missing toy could mean that a poor kitty was left without their beloved toy. Copy that, Detective Whiskers responded. I'm on my way. Detective Whiskers raced to the pet store, where he was greeted by the store owner, Mrs. Plaws. She was a friendly old cat who had been running the pet store for many years. Detective Whiskers, thank goodness you're here, Mrs. Paws said, looking worried. I can't believe someone would steal a catnip toy from my store. It's just not right. Detective Whiskers nodded in agreement. Don't worry, Mrs. Paws. I'll get to the bottom of this. He examined the store carefully, looking for any clues that might help him solve the crime. He noticed that the cash register was open and that the door to the back room was ajar. Detective Whiskers approached the door cautiously and peered inside. He noticed that the back room was a mess, with boxes of pet food and toys strewn about. He also saw something glinting in the corner of the room. As he got closer, he realized that it was a small, pink catnip toy. Detective Whiskers picked it up carefully and examined it closely. It was the missing catnip toy. Just then, he heard a noise behind him. He turned around to see a small, scrappy-looking kitten staring up at him. The kitten looked guilty. And Detective Whiskers wondered if he had something to do with the missing toy. Hey there, little one, Detective Whiskers said, trying to sound friendly. Did you see anything suspicious around here? The kitten looked nervous and didn't say anything. Detective Whiskers tried again. Did you see anyone take the catnip toy? The kitten looked away, refusing to answer. Detective Whiskers sighed. He knew that he had to do something to get the kitten to talk. He thought for a moment and then had an idea. Hey, I have an idea, Detective Whiskers said. Why don't we play a game of catch? If you catch the ball, I'll tell you a secret. The kitten looked interested and nodded eagerly. Detective Whiskers tossed the ball to the kitten, who caught it easily. The kitten then tossed the ball back to Detective Whiskers. Okay, here's the secret, Detective Whiskers said, lowering his voice. I think I know who took the catnip toy. And I need your help to catch them. Detective Whiskers rushed over to help detain the thief. Well done, little one, Detective Whiskers said, patting the kitten on the head. You caught the thief. The thief, a small tabby cat, looked up at Detective Whiskers with frightened eyes. Please don't arrest me, he said. I only took the catnip toy because I couldn't afford to buy one myself. I promise I won't do it again. Detective Whiskers looked at the tabby cat thoughtfully. He knew that stealing was wrong, but he also knew that sometimes cats got desperate. Okay, Detective Whiskers said finally. I won't arrest you this time. But you have to promise me that you'll never steal again. And if you're ever in need of a catnip toy, come to me and I'll make sure you get one. The tabby cat nodded gratefully. Thank you, Detective Whiskers. I won't let you down. With the case solved, Detective Whiskers returned the stolen catnip toy to Mrs. Paws and made sure that the pet store was secure. He then returned to the police station, feeling proud of the work he had done that day. As he settled into his desk, Detective Whiskers couldn't help but smile. Solving the case and helping the tabby cat had made him feel like he was making a real difference in Furville. He knew that being a police officer wasn't always easy, but it was worth it to keep the town safe and happy. From that day on, Detective Whiskers kept a closer eye on the pet store, making sure that no other catnip toys went missing. And he always made sure to keep an eye out for any cats who might be in need of help. For Detective Whiskers, being a police officer wasn't just a job, it was a way of life.